fanning the flames of tension across an already explosive region. Israeli media have shown this video, saying it's the fire at Joseph's tomb. The Israeli military says Palestinian rioters torched the site, holy to Jews and Christians, Friday morning before Palestinian security forces dispersed the rioters and put out the fire. The tomb appears to be unharmed. Palestinian and Israeli leaders condemned the attack. The day was just beginning. Israel imposing heavy restrictions on Palestinian movement in and around the old city of Jerusalem after a wave of deadly attacks, checking IDs, stopping cars, and blocking off Palestinian neighborhoods in East Jerusalem. The city remaining relatively quiet during Friday prayers, the attacks moving into the West Bank. A Palestinian disguised as a press photographer stabbed an Israeli soldier in the Israeli settlement of Kiryat Arba in the West Bank, according to the IDF, before soldiers shot and killed him. Clashes broke out in Bethlehem between Palestinians throwing stones and Molotov cocktails. Israelis firing tear gas and bullets, littering the street with the debris of clashes and filling the air with the acrid smoke of tear gas. In Hebron, Palestinian protesters marched through the streets, carrying miniatures of the Al-Aqsa Mosque in the old city of Jerusalem and waving Hamas flags. And in Gaza, Islamic Jihad and Hamas called for a day of rage, the third in eight days, as tensions flare on both sides with the questions lingering, when will this round of violence end?